Motor vehicle crashes are responsible for thousands of deaths and millions of injuries each year. In addition to drivers impaired by alcohol or drugs, and those impaired by distractions such as the use of cell phones and texting while driving, medically impaired drivers are becoming an increasing public health concern. There now is strong evidence that drivers with cognitive impairment are at risk for declines in driving competence. Cognitive impairment can be caused by many common chronic illnesses, including diabetes, coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure, chronic renal failure, and of course, the dementias. The availability of an evidence-based screening tool to assist in identifying drivers with cognitive impairment whose driving skills may have declined to an unsafe level represents a significant advance towards addressing the public health issue posed by medically impaired drivers. At the same time, it provides for improved patient care and increased confidence about driving decisions. As shown in the administration and scoring videos, the SMARD, a modification of the DEMTEC, is a brief, easy to administer paper and pencil test. It can be scored in a minute or two with no special training or clinical expertise needed. Importantly, it was developed and validated against actual driving performance. In our initial study, which included 181 cognitively impaired and cognitively intact drivers, 86% of the drivers predicted to fail did subsequently fail, and 84% of drivers predicted to pass did subsequently pass. Less than half of the drivers scored in the indeterminate range. For this group, the results of the driving evaluation were needed to establish driving competency. Very similar results were obtained in our validation study based on a sample of 244 cognitively impaired and cognitively intact drivers. Results of our research are published in the Journal of Primary Care and Community Health, a peer-reviewed journal. Access to the research article can be obtained by going to our website www.mard.ualberta.ca.